Okay, so we will learn quite a lot using this problem. It is from IOQM 2023. It's a geometry problem. And uh, let me first tell you what the problem says. And then I will also tell you what are the concepts that we will learn using this problem. You know what I do, right? I use problems to learn concepts. So this will be no different. The problem says that ABC is a triangle, ABC is any triangle, where E and F are the midpoints of AC and AB. So B is a median and CF is a median. And this is a fact from elementary geometry that medians of a triangle, any three median of a triangle, pass through one point. So it's a very special point. And uh, this point is called the centroid. So, of course, in this picture, the third median is not drawn, but it's all the three of them passes through a single point G. Now, draw the midpoint of BE, Y. So, Y is midpoint of BE. And Z is the midpoint of CF. Z of CF. Okay? So it's given that the area of the triangle ABC is 480. The entire area is 480. Then what is the area of GYZ? That is the question. What is the area of triangle GYZ? So let's see what are the things that we will be using to prove this particular theorem or sort of find out the area of GYZ. Okay. So the first thing that we will need is that the centroid, the centroid divides the median into two is to one ratio. So let me draw the picture one more time. This is A, this is B, this is C. And you draw the median, the three medians, the three medians, like this. And as I told you before, the three medians pass through a single point. Let's call this X, let's call this Y, let's call this Z. Then this point is called the centroid, it's a very special point. And BG is to GY is 2 is to 1. Similarly, CG is to GZ is 2 is to 1. And AG is to GX is 2 is to 1. So all of these ratios are 2 is to 1. In the comment section, can you prove this in some way or other? Can you prove that this is true? It's a very standard result in normal geometry, elementary geometry. That's the first tool that we will be using. The second tool, and this is very important, it's very easy, but it's very important as well, that if you have a triangle ABC, and if you draw the median of the triangle, let's say AF, then the area of the red region is equal to the area of the green region. That is the median divides the triangle into two equal pieces. They are not congruent. I mean, they may not be congruent. In an isosceles triangle or equilateral triangle, they would become congruent. But area-wise, they are always the same. Why is that? Because if you drop a perpendicular, let's say H, both of them have the same height because they have the same vertex and the bases lie on the same straight line. So the area of the red triangle is half this H, whatever the height is, times BF. And the area of the green, area of the green is also half H times CF. And BF and CF are equal, so those two triangles have equal area. So before we go into other stuff, Let's quickly use this picture and use the two things that we have already learned. Those two things will be sufficient 
तो let us go into the problem. We'll make some discoveries about the problem. So suppose that G C is X is two. Uh, okay, F G F is X, or maybe we can use some other letter. Let's say T. Then we know that C G is twice of G F, right? This is two is to one ratio. Therefore, this is two times t. Okay, so the entire length is three times t. Cf is three times t. Okay, now realize that z is the midpoint of Cf. Therefore, this much. Let me let me shade this. This is half of CF or one point five t. So you can e easily realize that GZ is zero point five t, right? This is zero point five t because together, together they make two t. If this much is one point five t, therefore this much must be zero point five t. Okay. Similarly. If this is r, this much, this is two r, this is one point five r, which is half of the entire thing. Therefore, this much is zero point five r. Okay, so now we have a very interesting situation. If I join F E. I want you to con concentrate on these two triangles, G Y Z and G F E. G Y Z and G F E. So their vertically opposite angles are equal. So angle Y G Z is equal to angle F G E. They are vertically opposite. Vertically opposite. And their sides are of equal proportion. So you notice that GF over GE is T by R, and GY over uh, sorry GZ over GY. Is one zero point five t by zero point five r, which is again t by r. So the ratio of these two sides, the ratio of these two sides, is equal to the ratio of these two sides. This is the third thing that we will be learning as a concept. This is the S A S rule of similarity. That is, if this happens, then the two triangles. Are actually similar. Which two triangles? This triangle and this little triangle. Triangle G Y Z is similar to triangle G F E. Look at this very carefully. The vertically opposite angles are equal. And the side containing sides containing that vertically opposite angle, their ratios are same. That's important. Not ratio of any two sides. Ratio of the sides containing that angle. Those are the same. So we have proved that G Y Z is similar to G F E. Okay. Now let's go to the. Fourth thing that we would be learning that if two triangles are similar, then the ratio of their areas is equal to the ratio of the squares on their sides. Ratio of their areas will be equal to the ratio of the squares on their sides. So let me draw the picture and explain this to you. So suppose you have two triangles, A, B, C. And 
DEF. And suppose these two triangles are similar, that is, their sides are proportional, then the ratio of areas of ABC over DEF is equal to the ratio of the squares on their corresponding sides. Corresponding sides means sides opp opposite to equal angles. Okay? Because they are similar, therefore their angles are equal to one another, equiangular. So what is this? This is AB square over D square. So I have talked about this very important result many, many times. In fact, in the IOQM's review video, I actually talked about this result. How you prove this? I give you a hint. You can give me a solution in the chat, in the comment section. So what you do is you drop a perpendicular. So area of, so this is H1 and H2 suppose. So area of ABC is half of H1 times BC and area of DEF is half of H2 times EF. Half F cancels. Now H1 over H2, these two triangles are similar again. These little two triangles are similar. Therefore, H1 over H2 is equal to AB over DE. Now, since the big triangles are also similar, therefore, BC over EF is also equal to AB over DE. So, you have AB square over DE square. So, that's what we wanted, right? Now, if you look at this, this is very important, that the area of GYZ and GFE, let's look at the GFE over GYZ. This is R square over 0 0.5 R square. 0 0.5 R whole square. Right? This is 0 0.5 R and this is R. So GFE by GYZ is R square over 0 0.5 R whole square. So that's 4. So what we know is GFE is 4 times the area of GYZ. So if we can find out GFE, then we can find out GYZ. Just divide GFE by 4. That's all you have to do. Okay, so let's focus on the triangle. Let's focus on the triangle GFE. Okay, so basically, notice the entire triangle is 480. ABC is 480. So half of that is 240. So triangle ABE is half of 480, which is 240. Triangle AB is half of 480, which is 240. But wait, we again have a median of this triangle. EF, F is the midpoint of AB, we know that. So EF is a median of this triangle. So EF splits it into two equal parts. So each one is 120 now. So BFE is 120. Half of 240, which is 120. Okay, finally, what is GFE? Well, this is into 2 is to 1 ratio. So the areas will also be split into 2 is to 1 ratio. This one and this one. The bases are in 2 is to 1 ratio. So the areas will be split into 2 is to 1 ratio. 
which means that this one is 80 and this one is 40. Total is 120. So GFE turns out to be 40. Now one line from here, you can tell me what is GYZ. That's just one more line. So given that GFE by GYZ is 4, can you tell me what is GFE in the comment section? Thank you for watching this video. We have an outstanding program for Mathematical Olympiads, ISI CMI entrances, research projects. You can check that in the description, in the link in the description. Keep on watching videos at chidda.com. We have beautiful videos on mathematical sciences. I hope you will like them. Take care. Bye.